All right, let's keep going with World of Goo 2. We're at Christmas 95%. I'm a little scared of the next levels. Let's do Molten Showers. 213, no one would ever expect that. Now oh, this one looks, this one looks easy. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on, what? Wait, hold on. Um, let's see what the curator presumably has to say. Uh, only six. This is gonna be a hard level, isn't it? Log one. Hello? Is the log recorder on? The goo balls are more vibrant and filled with life than I ever imagined. Structure appears to be. Structure appears to be remains of a. Oh, like this structure. Structure appears to be the remains of a large creature. Unable to land. Redirect to avoid damage. Dispatch. The remains of a large creature? This? Oh, like the bone. The bone, but there's metal in it. I guess uh, so So does my elbow. So so does Luke's spine. I guess we are, we're waking that guy up and that might like, I mean, the lava, but then the lava will turn into goo, I guess. And I mean, it'll like blow this up and maybe wake these guys up. I mean, there's the pipe. Just in this thing's bones, I suppose. Now remember, Chris, don't be stupid and make the world's worst, uh, world's worst tower like you're doing. Well, instead of making like two single lines, I only made one single line. So like, how bad can it be? Right? It's so funny that there's definitely like unoptimal way. Well, that made it sound like I said unoptimal, but there is an optimal way. There is a optimal way <laughs> to uh, just build like upward or to the side, like to build straight, I guess is what I'm saying, in World of Goo, and like, I just don't know it. Why is it leaning this way, I wonder? Maybe this is leaning out more? I don't know. Maybe I should uh, start building over here a little more. But only a little more. Let's not go brazy with it, right? Can I get a line here? No. This song is great, by the way. Who doesn't love trumpet like this, man? What am I doing? Like, what? Come on. Well, dude, what was that? That's what I wanted to do earlier, but... Seriously, what? How did this happen? I don't remember this happening. I guess I just build this worse the poor structural integrity of my stupid tower honestly this seems like a bad idea well maybe not for this side though actually like there we go the problem solved I think called no, no need to call the problem solvers because this problem has been solved mystery solved that did not sound like Keita at all, but that is Yokai Watch 3, right? I'm pretty sure it is. That, that. I guess just put it anywhere in the middle. I guess that should, that should do that for that as well. What about this whole thing? Look, we're almost there. Like, don't worry about it. Yeah, this is This is too wide uncomfortably so. I mean, it feels like this this structure has structure, though, which is great. It's a great feeling in a game like this. You know, the goo is sticky. So something like this can work. If it stops working, though, then, you know. Was I supposed to do something to save these guys? I don't think so. They can't get through here anyway. Oh, right, but they... I, I knew they became goo, but, like... I kind of... Yeah, this kind of lava goo. So I was like, it's practically useless to me. Boom! All right. And then we just wait for this to... Oh, we can't. We can't wait for this to... 
Well, okay, but like, theoretically, okay, I actually don't know how this works. I'm assuming these ones are immune to lava, right? That is the assumption that can be made here, right? I think the idea is I'm supposed to block. Oh, smart. Actually, well, that's, this is the opposite of what's supposed to happen. Okay, like I, I was already gonna reverse it anyway. I didn't even realize the repercussions of my actions on that one. We're gonna make a little uh, slide for it. It's not gonna be jump jumping. It's, just, it's only gonna be slide sliding. You know. Amazing reference, Chris. That's not what I wanted. It has to be like a more extreme angle somehow. Like this is not enough. This is probably not enough because it's gonna it's gonna bend it down. Okay. I see I see what we have to do here. We have to like careful. I have to do something like this to give it some structural integrity, right? And... This. Ugh. Whatever. Ugh. Not whatever. Okay. Honestly, OCD seems really easy on this. Okay, so I guess the goo coming out. Yeah, that's kind of problematic. Nice! Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, please hop on, all of you. I can't go back, incidentally. So we're just gonna okay good they don't they don't just roll back and forth like this and this or do they dudes come on come on i know i know ocd is like, well i mean i probably didn't get it because i didn't build this properly but like okay be like that i don't care Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't gonna make it anyway. Once I once I saw the white ones go in, I was like, oh wait, yeah, that's how this game works. Hot springs. Is it more lava? It is. And balloons. Oh great, it's like the combination of the last two levels. My favorite. Let's say 120. Log three. I've been observing this world since I was just a kid. So when I designed the log recorder for this machine, I decided to store logs on signposts. It seemed thematically appropriate. It's a good thing they're not made from real wood. It's hot here. Even near volcanic springs, there is life. Unable to land. Overly abundant heat. Dispatch. Should have been... Uh... Uneven land. I've been, uh... I've been <laughs> doing the voice of, uh... I should know his name. I, I finished watching the whole thing. I should know his name, but like the inventor guy from Korra. But uh, I don't know it. Okay, so I see some goo there. See some not goo there. So I had to bring this goo. Oh, I, I don't like this. I have to bring this goo over to here. Just turn into goo balls. And then also we have to go up there. Now we have a lot of goo balls here. I think the balloons are not to fly. The balloons are simply to... Okay, I actually don't know. I am worried I'm gonna do this incorrect. Well, with all these balloons, it's not flying right now anyway. So it can't go airborne regardless. Now remember, Chris, do not build... Um... I'm gonna go up. Because when you go up, you know that time doesn't stop because it goes on forever. How many times do I? How many times have I fucking said that? 
Mm, where's the fly? Did I drop that one? Where's the fly? Have I not made enough moves yet? The fly's probably like, seriously, at this point you might as well replay the fucking level, dude. But yeah, okay, I was gonna say, I could see, I could see the one on land, like, with this, right? Okay. Foundation acquired. Now, we build up and over. How is this gonna work? I don't know. I mean, obviously we're gonna, like, do a little something like this and this, right? This should be fine, maybe? I, th these are stuck to the ground, right? So as long as I have this to make sure it doesn't bend too far in this direction, we should be good. Now, the real question is, will that guarantee that this doesn't bend too far in this direction? I don't know. Now remember, we have balloons. We have balloons to help us. These are, they're kind of sitting here doing nothing right now. So like, you know, if you do something like that and then just keep building up, I think uh, it will do what you want it to do. But maybe you want to build this way. <laughs> you know, kind of away from the lava, right? Now we actually can't go to the pipe because the pipe is gonna cause a problem. It's gonna suck up all the goo balls and we won't be able to build anymore. One balloon is very powerful, as it turns out. It's too powerful. Like, cause if I build like this, if I just build up and then over, literally, like, it's not gonna work, right? This goo ball is gonna be dead because once there's too much weight from building, it goes right in the center. Which is why I wanna keep building like this, but I don't wanna get too close to the pipe, which would be quite problematic. See, here we go. This is what, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay, hold on. As much as I like the balloons, I kind of want to create some stability here, right? It's okay. It can keep doing that. I don't. I don't mind. Is it bouncing because like of this or something? All right. This is a this is a really good like this, this isn't even the final level but this is a good like final world level I think. And remember we don't have to be like too anal here because we're not going for a hundred percent. So th I think this is the most structure I can add here. I'm gonna add another balloon right here. The problem is like I don't want it to flop. Because then it's going to flop down too far once and then it's all over. I want it to be stable. So when I... Okay, just, I'm holding W now just to hold it up. Alright. Okay, so we have like a, a new problem, I think. Right? And that problem is... We're too high. Like, I think I have... I've overcompensated here. And we're running out of goo balls. <laughs> also, like, don't I have to build in a way where these are all connected? Like, I'm gonna have to build, like, a spine up and over this. And then do the same thing in the other direction. And then build up towards the pipe. Which, uh, you know, that's like a whole thing. All that's a whole thing. Look, I'll just do this, right? I'm like, oh, I'm too high. Are you too high now, Chris? Are you too high now? Chris, Barney wants to put like a balloon like here, right? That's probably smart, right? 
That, that, I think that will provide some anti-bobbing stability, right? <laughs> We're almost there! Alright, this might screw me. No, it's actually kind of perfect. It's actually kind of perfect. Although, I kind of wish that was more of a, like, triangle shape. That, like, actually attached to it. But it's... This is stuck here, so, like, it doesn't matter that much. Alright, so, you know. We need you. I was gonna build a black goo ball down there, which, like, would have been stupid. Alright. You never know when you're gonna need some stability there, right? So, there's a pipe there, which is making me wonder if... Uh, you know. The pipe is making me wonder if this is like an infinite supply or not. Alright, so now we have to build a spine. Well, here's the thing. We're attached to this, right? That's not gonna lift it off of the ground. So we want like all hands on deck here because this is this bridge is going to get heavier as we build up and over it. So I hope that this is the right plan. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Maybe just this. Does it really matter? I honestly, you really, you really don't want it to be like. You know. Big. Because big is heavy, and heavy is bad. It's like something like this, right? See, but I, I want it big because big is satisfying. But, no. The problem is, I'm worried that if I keep making it crawl then uh, I won't be able to connect it to the next one right like if I make it too low then it won't be able to reach over here or something you know what I mean this is actually starting to look like an actual bridge though which I feel like is a first in this game somehow uh, yeah I think we're gonna have to bite the bullet on this one Do you think I could, because we're going to need these balloons, right? One, two, three, four, five. We're going to need like five balloons to get up and over here, right? And also I'm sure the cannon shooting balls onto the bridge is like not going to help. That is definitely a part of the design. Um, so part of me is like, what if I build a little foundation here? curse you. Whatever, I'm not gonna flash fly that back. I don't know why I sounded like that there. Though I really want to. Um, I mean, actually, maybe I have to. I mean, if I do, like, this. This. I'm just saying, right? So now, let's see. Can this bridge sustain itself? I think it can. Can it sustain itself entirely? It's close and worrisome, but, like, we can always fall back on the other thing. Look at that. It can. Oh, man, that's cool. Okay, now. Let us... Um, build in the other direction. With the black goo balls. Because, you know. 
we build with these ones, it'll be kind of useless, right? Well, no, because we just we just need to get we need to connect white from over here to over here. So it doesn't really, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? If anything, I should be using the white ones. And the white ones get sucked up. I always forget. Anyway, let's be smart about this and just attach the balloons here so they're easy to get. We have a lot of balloons. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I was supposed to build a bridge that, like, is sustainable. But, whatever. So, here's the skinny, right? Like, I do kind of want to do a little something like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's kind of not fair. That it, like, okay. Thankfully, that wasn't a problem. Because if it was, that would really suck. Like, like what the hell do I do at that point, right? As far over here as possible so that I can go like this. Wonderful. All right. Well, here's the thing, right? So here's the thing, and then it's a picture of the thing from the Fantastic Four. Okay, what caused that? Exactly. You know what? This still works, though. If anything, it might be better. I don't know. Did it, bu did it bubble up or something? It, it might be better. Copium. We'll do that. That should help, right? Did I, like, end up putting more weight on it? Is there, like, a wind storm kicking up or something? Like, hello? I mean, here's the thing. I have to build up to the pipe anyway. So let's just, like... Build these guys up, right? Now the balloons are gonna get in the way, ironically. I do I trust that? Yes. Yes I do. Part of me is like I should like observe how I did this bridge, like good like specifically look at what I did to make it work, but like also, <laughs> it's so it's probably fine. Now remember, I mean, I built up and then used balloons, so like. But also, I think I do want to build out. Let's do like this, and then build like you out. And then put a line there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking how that's looking. It, it reminds me of like... Like a streamer playing Pass Parteau or something. Like one of those art games. And they're like making one of the world's worst art pieces. But like, you know, they're not an artist. So, like, it doesn't matter. But it's still funny when they're like, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm liking that. I'm liking how that's looking. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Before I go too brazy on this, remember, the goal is to connect these. So, we are going to build with these. I don't know if that will actually be a problem, though. Like, as these fill with goo, will they, like, you know, cause a problem? Cause a problem, perhaps a problem. I feel like I'm using too many goo balls here, but I have to imagine just for completing it, it's probably like relatively convenient. Okay, yeah, now we need. Uh, <laughs> I can already see the weak point here. I'd like a goo ball to like do a little something like this or this or this. All right. So now, we build up.
Is that, do you think that's too much? I think that is like a little too much towards the lava. I'll just wait until it starts to bend. Like an ink machine, that doesn't even make any sense. All right. See, now we're kind of making this weird like, don't worry about it, okay? Now is this where I want to go, or is this where I want to go? I think this is where I want to go. Now we have a weird fucking, like, hexagon here. That was not in the schematics for... This bridge is so beautiful, man, like... Look at this. That's art. It's thumbnail material. Alright, anyway. I can't believe it hasn't been 30 minutes, by the way. Like, if this feels like it's taken forever. Not in a, not in a bad way or anything, but... I think I am going to intervene. I think I am going to... Bad. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Bad, 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 bad. Um, well, now what? I'm glad, because usually the fly goes away. Well, the fly goes away when you hit the amount, I guess. So there is kind of a fail-safe involved. I, I okay. Just though, what do I do? Maybe I put it here? I think that is fine for now. And then we put it, like, here. Falls too far. Really? It doesn't. Physics. Where's the thing? It's gonna be like that wasn't a fuck up. Okay, good. But okay, I I I, I jumped the gun a little. Can you blame me, by the way? But like, can you blame me? I didn't. That's not, it's like the top of the screen moving it down is like interfering. So this is definitely going to get chopped right right here. I'm fine with that. Actually, you know what? Don't say definitely just yet. That might be that might be cutting it close though, but we do have some more structural integrity. What do you need to make a bridge? Triangle because that's synonymous with structural integrity, baby. Now, we're getting there. I, th I do worry about this stupid octagon thing, but the, like, if it if it explodes, it explodes. Like, you know, what do you what do you want? What do you want me to do? I do want to move like these over here. This is, this is actually having an effect. I'm like kind of surprised. All right. At this point, I can bu start building down because it's past the lava. Okay. And oh, look at that. Well, look at this little like knee we have here. Okay. Look at this. Looking great. Okay. And then we go like this. Now is that too much? No. Um, maybe use another balloon, actually. Okay. Cutting it a little close here. Just <laughs> keep them here because I feel like that's uh, the closest to there. I should probably put a balloon on the end here. And then, yeah, I'll put a balloon on the end and then build up. Maybe like here. And then build up. I kind of wanted to wait for the bobbing to stabilize a little, but... See, now part of me is like, what if I remove a balloon? 
because, you know, we do want it to go like this. I used, what, four balloons? So if I were to, say, remove a balloon here, that's fine. If I, I feel like I can't remove that one. If I were to remove this one, do you think that would help? I do think that would help, actually. Since we have to build, like, at least one more to even get close. All right. I'm not stupid, by the way. We do this. Okay. Then now all we have to do is build up. This should be the easy part, right? I kind of worry that it's gonna end up like destroying the the shit somehow. The shit. Like too much weight is gonna be put here, and that's gonna bring that down there, and blah 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 blah. Look at how inefficient this is. Oh whatever. We get like a, a nice zoom out. Part of me was like, wait, I need the white goo balls to be able to get the thing to start sucking. No. The white goo balls only suck up loose goo. It's not the other way around. Definitely not OCD. Oh my god, I only barely made it? Wow! Hold on. No. I only barely made it. Wow. Okay. Sheesh. <laughs> Do you think it's 120 because of like Mario? 23 minutes and 49 seconds. Do it in less than four minutes. Yeah, 161. That one's like, you have to be a legend at this game to 100% that. It sounded like it... Okay, it was up here. Whoops, sorry. Destination landing station. Do you want to, like, check it out? Let's do a little demo. See what we're in for here. I'm going to space. So this is a new kind of goo ball. I don't know, he's like, maybe I can do, maybe this is more of a cutscene level and I could do this in like 40 minutes. Yeah, I, the part of this is like a cutscene level. I, we're definitely not gonna have to build something similar to what we did last time where we go up and over and then press this button. Log four, knock, knock. Is anyone there? My door is stuck. I can't get out. If I had landed on a nice float or a nice flat surface, I might have been able to fix it. I've been in this machine for a long time, and it looks like I'll be in here a little longer. It's okay. I'll become an I'll become another part of the beautiful landscape, like everything else. Maybe I'll spend this time writing an unpublished graphic novel about my long journey. Or maybe I'll count higher and higher and see if the numbers keep going or loop back to zero. Or maybe I'll try and remember everyone I left behind. Or maybe I'll scratch cave paintings and buffaloes in the side of my machine. It really confuse anthropologists in the future. Or was it buffaloes? I didn't pack a dictionary. What's that over there? Oh, hello little fish! Be careful. Don't get too close. Whatever you do, stay away from the very top of my machine. This rocket is extremely explosive. Dispatch. Okay. So this is the person that saw the explosion a hundred million light years away and then like... Flew the rocket to here, right? I mean, obviously we're gonna... Ah... Oh. 
In you go. Is there like a wind current up here or something? They're just flying it this way. I guess it's the top of the level. And then we start the descent. Then we resume the ascent. And then we start the descent again. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. What did I land it incorrectly? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did I land flat or something? I think we have to give it a little more like, oops, a little more like fuel before it touches down. There we go. Instead of just, I guess it was going down too fast. I had to go a little bit, but with flies. Worlds of goo. It must have been a long journey. That oh, was that the voice I was supposed to be using. Pit Cola. Someone had been watching for a long time. There were telescopic photos. Look, it's the world of goo. Of familiar places. Hey, that's from the first game, I think. And no, this is from this game. Idiot. They had enjoyed the delicious juice-like product. <laughs> Everything in the photos had eroded or washed away. There's no way this is me. That would have been funny if it was, though. But it was nice to see them again. Ooh. Come here, you. I forgot about the groves. The, the ghouls? Even the ghouls are here? Uh, the pipe is also extending downward perfectly. I think he's being hunted. Okay, bye. I mean, that was a lot of liquid goo. And liquid goo, as we learned, is very heavy. Annoyingly so. <gasps> Spreading the joy of world of goo all around the universe. I hope they all don't die, like, immediately. Planting the seeds of world of goo. Oh my god, they are actually, like, seeds. Wait, what does this mean? And everywhere the traveler traveled, there sprouted all new worlds of goo. At least like 17 of them, right? So, can the goo balls create plant life? Because it wasn't just the green ones he was throwing out. That's it! We did it! It took a while with some hiatuses because of work and stuff, but we beat World of Goo 2. Honestly, let's see. I didn't like the the first level in the last world I did. And I have a feeling there was one more. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't like the... I didn't like, obviously, I didn't like the whole, uh, like, indie pixel point-and-click part. I didn't really like Goolf either, at like, once it started getting harder, but honestly, Goolf was like kind of fine. It wasn't that bad. 8-Bit Drummer did some music for this game? That's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. That's pretty funny. 
Those are literally the only parts of Nibrox 64. I recognize that one too. Um, but literally everything else was very good and very fun. It wasn't like, you know, like some parts were like, you know, six. Like to me, five is the center. And the Gooballs who didn't make it? I guess I, I, thought, I thought it was like people who died. Our friends at Nintendo. Oh yeah, because this is, this was like... It's Switch console exclusive. That's that's it for the credits. That was not a lot of people who worked on this amazing game. Which is surprising. Hello? Um, hello? Everything just went black. Um, okay, I guess I'll just wait here. It's not that those parts were bad. It was just kind of that... Like, I wanted to play World of Goo. I didn't really want to do that for that long. Even the f even if it was that one first level, it would have gone on for like a little too long. So, one hundred percent, I wouldn't say that. I think this should count the flags. Eleven hours. Isn't that nice? A nice little thing. I just I just want to like. And yeah, we'll just we'll just keep the music. But uh, yeah, it was it wasn't like some levels were like six out of ten. Like you know, just they were good, but like not great. I think every level, other than the ones I mentioned, were at least, at least 8 or 9 out of 10. Like, I'm so happy with this game. It's probably going to be my game of the year. But that's because I don't really play any other games um, that come out recently. I'm still kind of stuck in the past and also just not playing games. No, but, like, seriously, World of Goo 2 highly recommend it and like it comes with a bunch of extra content simply in the form of getting all the flags like you have the if you really love this game and you know don't have a huge backlog and uh, a job like you could really uh you could really just sit and try to 100% this game. I don't know how actually frustrating that would make it. Because usually 100%ing a game leads to frustration and then you start liking the game less. But, like, I think this is a game where you could, you like building a goo tower, you can slowly build your experience and your skills and, yeah, I guess your patience to the point where it might not be that bad. But,. Whoop. Okay, they, I, I was think I was expecting an Angry Birds space kind of thing where they would rotate around. That's really all I have to say. That's kind of the thing. Like, there's no review. The review is that the game is a 10 out Well, honestly, still, the game is a 10 out of 10. Even, even with the whole, like, um, detective part. Like, the game is still a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 doesn't mean absolutely flawless because that is ridiculous maybe not too ridiculous there are some things that <laughs> I, I could probably say are 10 out of 10 absolutely flawless but still 10 out of 10 like very few flaws and the flaws that are there are still like good right like i think the i feel like this the first first level in the last world was kind of just me not understanding something i could be wrong but i the point and click was still like funny and well done. Um, and Gulf was just like maybe a skill issue. I, I, what? Wait, hold on. They're, they're orbiting around. Oh my god. That's really funny. Yeah, just the, the soundtrack is amazing. I don't like. It's a great. Like, here's the thing it's World of Goo 1 songs, but they're done differently enough that it doesn't just feel like a retread, right? Like, the vibes for the songs are different enough, even. That they're, in a way, they're kind of like new songs, I think. The soundtrack is extremely good. The visuals are really good. All of the new gimmicks were, like, interesting and fun. And it kept shooting them. It kept new gimmicks all the time. But I, I feel like saying the word gimmick is, like disingenuous, but I don't mean it like that. Gimmick isn't an inherently bad word, I think. 
gimmick is just a neutral word that people treat as a bad word. But so many... Like, and all the new gimmicks are interesting and unique and make sense that Goo Balls would do that, and... Ugh. This game is genius, and I literally wasn't expecting that at all. I was like, well, I really liked World of Goo 1, but, uh... You know, it was probably just a relatively simple bridge builder game. That's just, like, kind of, like, fun as a concept, but, like... You know, not, not world-breaking or anything. I think that this literally is relatively world-breaking. It's an amazing sequel. It takes the first game and does so much stuff with it. Adds so much stuff on. Ugh. I, I, <laughs> I, could, keep, I could keep gushing about this game forever. Right? Like... I do kind of, I like, I kind of find the story of the first game more interesting, but like, you can't, you can't redo that. So having the, the guy, I, I, don't, I don't even really know what the story here is. And honestly, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like the train that goes so fast and builds its own tracks and like needs goo as fuel. Like I, that was my favorite world. I think going up the satellite is cool. Same with this. Like. The first world and then bringing the hook down, even though I didn't get it at first. Like, everything is memorable. I'm like... <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Ugh. I'm glad I, uh, I kept playing for the last level, but... And that's the world of Goo 2. Uh... Love it. Well, I... <laughs> uh... What do I, what do I do? What do, how do I end the video, right? I can, I can just keep, I can keep talking. I can talk, dude, the, the art is so good too, as well. Like, the game looks gorgeous. The environments all feel different, but also, like, look great. Like, the dark level was so cool, the... Like, I feel like no two levels look that much alike. I could be... I could be wrong, but it was also switching up environments enough, I think. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe the train's backgrounds were all the same and I was too distracted, but... That's kind of the thing, like... You're not entirely looking at the background. Like, the insides of the cars are different. The shapes are all different. Like, what you're doing... You're not... Oh, you're not always building bridges, you're not always building towers, you're like building down and around, you're connecting things, you're flying around, like, <laughs> that is, this is what I mean by like, expanding on the first game a lot. Okay, I'm done, for real. <laughs> Beautiful masterpiece.